Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Primož Solm and Zoran Veličković that was played in Griže in 2001. And where is Griže? Griže is a village in Slovenia. White started with d4. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. And c5 in style of Benoni, d5, b5, and how should white continue? If knight to c3 is played, then b4 is attacking knight. What about c4? c4 is okay if you want to play against Benko Gambit. But white wanted to avoid Banco Gambit and he played bishop to g5, queen to b6. So if bishop takes on f6, then queen takes bishop, avoiding doubling of pawns. White played a4 and black captured because he saw that he can win pawn on b2. Better move was b4, preventing knight from coming to c3. White played knight to c3 and black captured pawn on b2, which is known as the poisoned pawn. Queen is attacking knight, so bishop to d2 was played. Rook to b1 is coming, so black played queen to b6, e4, bringing bishop in the game, preparing also possibly is e5, that's why black played d6 to prevent e5. Surprise, surprise, e5 was played anyway, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on e5, knight from b to d7, challenging knight on e5, bishop to b5, Pinning knight, g6. Black wants to play bishop to g7 and castle kingside. Knight to c4, attacking queen. Queen to d8 and white captured pawn on a4. Who is better, white or black? Black is a pawn up, but white has better activity of the pieces. Bishop to b7 was played. Why not bishop to g7 and castle next? Well, this would be a blunder. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move white in this position. Ready? Have you found the winning move? Bishop to a5, attacking queen and there would be a funeral for black queen. So bishop to b7 was played, making room for queen. Queen to e2 and queen to b8. What's wrong with bishop to g7 now? Again, have a look. In this position, white has a winning move again. That is knight to d6 check. Pawn is pinned, so after king to f8, knight takes bishop. So queen to b8 was played. Rook to b1, lining white rook with black queen. All this suffering for black, for just one pawn. Okay, now it's time. Bishop to g7, only one move away from castling. It is white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video. You can try to find the winning move. Ready? This is the move. Bishop takes knight on d7. Black recaptured with knight. What about king takes on d7? Then rook 
takes bishop check and after queen takes rook knight takes pawn on c5 check for king king and queen so black captured with knight in this position white made a move and black resigned what is the move rook takes on b7 and black resigned in view of this continuation queen takes rook knight to d6 check pawn is pinned king to f8 knight takes queen going back to this very interesting position playing g5 and avoiding Banco Gambit was good strategy for white in this game wasn't it and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now